Why are you asking me this? Whatever, you have your reasons, right? You're not taping this, are you? What was that sound? Is someone else on the phone? I think the news is mostly just highlighting nonsense. I have friends who work for ABC, CBS News, who say they've been given tapes by the government, pre-cut tapes, and they're just running them without editing. I mean, I don't want to buy into conspiracy theories. I mean, I'm not sure just hearing about things is real. The radio sings about love, for instance, but love's something you have to experience for yourself to know it. That's true. Or at least I think that's true. Since we've been going out, I'm seeing one thing clearly. You never ever say a word to me sincerely. When will you come into focus and show me the way? Don't you want to be in love? Don't you want to love that's true? Don't you want to feel that it's true in your heart? And though I'm waiting to be in your arms and fell up, I read the paper and I'm like, all of this is lies. I mean, I don't remember feeling this before, that it was all a lie. We were lying in bed and Kate's holding me and she says to me, I love you more than anyone does. More than your father loves you, more than your mother loves you, more than anybody. And then she broke up with me a week later. How do I know what I know? Well, I guess I don't think I know. Well, I don't know. Wait, I know a lot about a lot. I know, wait, I know a lot about a lot about a lot of things But I don't know a lot about one thing No, wait, I know, no, I don't know a lot about one thing But I know a little about a lot of things Pathetic, I'm pathetic Why are you asking me this? I think there are two reasons why 9-11 happened. Do you think Tom Cruise is gay? Yes. Why do you ask that? Who cares? I've heard from a ton of different sources, different people. One of my friends, her father is an agent and he's always telling us things about people. Doesn't he have a wife now and like four kids or something? He's a terrible actor. He's a very good actor. He is. Top Gun, I love his movies. He's a prick, but I still love his movies. How do you know he's a prick? I don't know. I've read interviews with him. I've seen him on talk shows. He's just really arrogant. You know, why don't you just ask me the questions? She's my wife. I'm sure I'd know how she'd answer. That's why I always end up staying in bad relationships. I can't leave. Tom Cruise is definitely gay. Tom Cruise definitely gay. Tom Cruise is definitely gay. That's what my hairdresser says and he knows. Tom Cruise is definitely gay. Tom Cruise is definitely gay. Tom Cruise is definitely gay. That's what my hairdresser says and he knows. What are you so afraid of? We're gonna find an answer. It's just around the corner and I know. What are you so afraid of? I used to think that I was independent My life was mine, my life was fine Always the plaintiff, never the defendant But then things changed, life rearranged And I just want to sit back and be told to be controlled, to be secure. So now the one I'm searching for is 
Someone to keep me warm. Someone to guard me. Someone to bear the storm. To print and card me. Not just some stage door charm. Who venerate me? The one I'm set upon will dominate me. He'll tell me when I'm good, and he'll gold star me if I do what I should. He'll never scar me, and though I'm frightened. And though he'll sometimes scare me, I'm more enlightened. And in the end, he'll spare me. I need to feel his power each day and every hour. Don't try to change my mind, 'cause I can't hear you. He's told me of your kind. He's big and strong. I'll love him, right or wrong. He beats me black and blue. Then I deserve it too. What of the child I was? What of the life I had? I need to feel him near me. I need to feel him hurt me. I. Need
Maybe he's already here? Beware, ladies. He's coming. He wants you to be afraid. No, the giant lizard man. Do you know where your child is? Do you know where your cat is? La 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 Be cheerful, ladies. He is coming. He wants you to get freedom. Be cheerful. La 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 I'm staring up at the TV screen Flashing blue and red and green Somebody save me I see them telling all the things we've learned All the cities that have burned Somebody save them I have seen their photogenic faces I have seen the speeding highway chases I wish I could ever know what grace is Will I know? Will I know? I want to die for something. I want to die for something. I want to die for something. Cause there's nothing for me here I'm staring up at the TV screen Waiting in the dark unseen Somebody save me I'm learning slowly how to read the signs how they hide between the lines Somebody save them I have learned to read the empty spaces I've been pierced in super secret places I've been pierced in super secret places I wanna die For something Cause there's nothing for me here You are playing a dangerous game You are playing a dangerous game You are playing a dangerous game had a friend named Sally who ended her life in an alley she believed in nothing at all she believed in nothing at all you could say that her life was well screwed up even she said oh how I've been chewed up so I asked her Sally what did you do I said, Sally, what the hell have you been through? And so she told me what happened. At first. 
makes you search for the truth It steals the bloom of your youth You take your gin and vermouth Chilled with a twist When your lover says I'm right, he's right When he wants to spend the night, he spends the night When the barman says you're tight, you're tight You don't resist And on the knowledge you got in college Keeps you pristine Your hands are clean Until you wake up pregnant and stinking of doers And now your youth gone And the vermouth gone Where is that truth you trusted so? Just wait your turn, pet And soon you'll learn, pet You'll be the one to say I told you so In Budapest Was it Tallahassee? You told me pretty lies And broke my heart into so many little pieces Johnny, you bastard Take that fucking nicorette gum out of your mouth Creep And so I said, Sally, after the truth, what next? So then you look for the lie Your life goes flying on by You take your gin very dry And just one shot When your lover says I'm right, he's not When he wants to spend the night, you say I'd rather not When the barman says you're tight, you fight It's all a plot And you enjoy the new paranoia It feels pristine Your hands stay clean Until you look around and wonder why you're so alone And now you dare admit That you don't care a bit What of those lies you trusted so? Just wait your turn, sweet And soon you'll learn, sweet You'll be the one to say I told you so In city Tallahassee You never came, Johnny You're still the same Take that fucking gum out of your mouth, you dog So finally you just up and quit There's no reason to pay attention to the shit You drink your gin as you knit Another says I'm right you say I wouldn't be surprised when he wants to spend the night you say I wouldn't be surprised to the barman you say give me a whiskey and don't be stingy baby the more the better you take for granted that you'll be disenchanted you're far past 30 your hands are dirty And now you look around and wonder what you have to show for it all. And though you tried things, you stayed outside things, and what you reap, you're sure to Understand, you asked me, do you understand? 
you asked me, do you understand? And oh, America, oh, America, oh, America, you promised land. You told me your way was the only way. You told me that Tom Cruise was gay. You told me if I didn't stay that it would warp us. You took me as we marched on Selma. You took me as we watched Scooby and Velma. You took me as you overwhelmed my habeas corpus. You asked me, do you understand? You asked me, do you understand? You asked me, do you understand? you should ask because do you know who I'm Jessica Lynch I just won Miss New York thank you I'm really excited I've actually been thinking of writing her a letter well you know I'd express that we're so happy she's returned home safely and and you know that we share the same name but not the same experiences but that she's a real American hero I've been thinking a lot about people in love How they tend to believe things they know can't be real They accept contradictions that come from above With a question like innocence And they feel they're staring into fog When they're only seeing out of focus So, I've been thinking how love is like Schrodinger's cat Locked up tight in a box out of sight And how that means it's dead and alive at the same time And so, when you think of the box, it's like seeing a photo of a cloud or fog It's an outcome that remains uncertain You can't see a thing in all that fog You can't see the man behind the curtain What are you so afraid of? We're gonna find an answer It's just around the corner and I know What are you so afraid of? We're gonna find an answer Find an answer I'm doing an interview for the WB tomorrow these questions are so not the questions. They usually ask stuff like, so, you're Miss New York, what's it like? I don't know, the questions I get are, I don't know, simple. I hate to say it, but they are. It's never like, how do you think Bush is doing? There's this stereotype of us all that we're just these pretty girls and we sit around in our pretty dresses and talk about pretty things. And let me tell you, I am so not a supporter of this war. Hello? But quantum physics does not, Dr. Schrodinger said, correspond with the literal world that we've seen. We all know that a cat must be living or dead. It can't be both at once. There's a difference between an image made of fog and an image that's just out of focus. What you have is a cat locked in a box, and there isn't any hocus pocus. So I've been thinking about how love left us behind. All the things we were sure of, but left on and ambiguous hoping that we wouldn't find All of the time the cat was dead What were we so afraid of? What was I so afraid of? 
Cause a photo of a cloud or fog Is not the same as one that's out of focus And the world is not so filled with fog That we shouldn't try to see in focus And I know there is no total truth But I know that things are very bad And I know there is no total truth But I know that things are very bad And I know there is no... That's fine. Was that my phone or yours? Oh, good. I thought I'd hung up on you. God, I'm sorry. I'm so tired. I'm like all over the place. I get home last night and it appears that we have a mouse situation. It's so funny because mice are like my biggest fear. Yeah, so there's like poop all over. There's poop on the floor, in my dresser drawers. So I just slept on the couch. Oh, yeah, I told the landlord. But get this, I told him, uh, we have a mouse in here, and I need you to do something about that. And he said, yeah, well, sometimes people think they see things, but they're not really there. And I said, well, I'm sure that's true. Yes, I do agree. Sometimes people do see things. But I see poop. It's right there. When we sing again of cherries in spring The gay nightingale, the blackbird's lone call All echoing sweet and clear The pretty young girls with madness of springtime And lovers who feel the warmth of one near When we sing again of cherries in spring the blackbird's lone call is all that we'll hear but their time is short these cherries of spring when we walk in pairs together and dream of tokens from lovers these cherries of Dress like the others Fall down from the tree Like blood in a stream In the there lives a race of iron board Deep in their soul a raging fire That burns the flesh from body torn All of its children born in slums And if you see them I think you'll know why They are the lowest scum But so am I Not the criminals from prison These are the honest working men Who every morning have arisen To work with hammer or with pen They are the fathers earning crumbs Slaving away till the day that they die They are the lowest scum But so am I It's the man whose body is thin With sunken eyes and dirty face Whose shaky hands and hardened skin Come from some dark unheard of place And as he passes you, he hums By now their army 
is coming, dressed all in rags and wooden shoes. Their mother France can hear them drumming, draped in a flag to win or lose. Soon you will see them with their guns, as to the enemy they cry. Here are the lowest scum, and here they are mine. Cooperative organization of production and the right of every worker to receive the full value of his labor. Free and secular education. The right to assemble. Freedom of thought, freedom of speech, all forms of expression, and free elections. No song could be half as pretty as the sounds that fill the city, driving out the winter and her icy cold. Asking what? Will the future hold? Citizens of France, I speak to you now with a heavy heart. At this moment, our state is no doubt most painful, but we can see foreshadowed a not too distant termination of the crisis. Whatever may be the means employed, they will be painful. And if we must fire, on that Paris, which is always so dear to France, our heart will bleed, but we appeal to the judgment of the country. Are we at fault? No! France, we are in the presence of a new barbarian invasion. They are not at our gates, but among us in our cities. And we must now heal our society at whatever cost. But today the sun shines down like gold. The grass is green, the garden's blooming white And in this room a story will be told How will it unfold? Workers of Paris, if you are tired of vegetating in ignorance and coughing in misery If you want your sons to be men and not animals reared for the factory and the battlefield If you no longer want your daughters to be the instruments of pleasure in the hands of the wealthy Paris, elect the commune and France will have no choice but to recognize us 
Soon the leaders all will tremble as they see the world assemble, coming like a wave upon their sandy shore. Who is rich now and who is poor? Listen up, you cringing bourgeoisie. You cannot cry and try to save your head. And if you try to sip your tea, we'll make you wish that you please the voting polls are open and as one citizen writes the voting paper has replaced the rifle the commune is elected Fuck! but today the sun shines down like gold the grass is green the flowers all are white and in this room a story will be told who can say what the future holds who are these unknown men 63 of them in total who were elected to the Council of the Commune. Nineteen of them came from the Paris Guard. Thirty-three were under the age of thirty-three. Thirty-three were craftsmen. Three doctors, three lawyers. Two were mystics, one known for his belief in magnetism. One was both a veterinarian and a wine merchant. The famous painter Gustave Courbet. Two songwriters, Jean-Baptiste Clamont and Eugène Potier. But today the sun shines down like gold. The grass is green, the flowers all are white And in this room a story will be told Who can say what the future, what the future holds? When little ducks swim two by two They quack a bit that's all they do, and when there's three of them or four, they sometimes quack a little more. But what is all this quacking for? Quack, 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 quack. But if they could sing together, their song would soar like this. Yodel, yodel, God, can you hear me? You are nothing more than a lie. It is time, you fictional ruler, that we tear you down from the sky. You're heaven and hell, no more than jokes, which make free thinkers all want to laugh. Good God of the bigots, we're free of all your crap. God of all the bigots, you full of crap. I've got something to say about nuns. I've got something to say about priests. They say we need building materials to make barricades. Well, shoot the priests, bag up the corpses, and make the barricades out of them. No, this is serious. Our hospitals are still run by nuns. And I think our wounded should be cared for by female citizens and not those nuns. They will poison the water, those bitches. Good God of the big Danger. We are as capable as our brothers of giving up our lives to the cause. For who was it who threw themselves in front of the cannons that fateful day? The women! If we free ourselves of the church, we can free ourselves of the state. When we leave the state in the lurch, soon the owners will meet the same fate. And soon they'll see that all the scum has arisen at last to the top. Greatest human error. To be married is to be 
a slave. And will you be a slave? No! All for the free women, none for the slaves! And God of the bigots, we won't let you rule us now! God of all the bigots, you can't rule us now! And the idea of shared ownership, it spreads throughout Paris. Workers' associations spring up everywhere, among the Students. The goal? To share our resources and create the means for mutual security. Among artists, led by the master painter Gustave Courbet. Art should be run by artists, free of commercial considerations. And the successful artists should share their profits with the less successful. Among actors, musicians, and singers. Some performers learn an enormous amount, while others live with very little. It's high time that every working artist has a chance to live with basic human dignity. The idea of liberation, somehow it spreads by balloons or God knows what to the other cities in France. This idea is indeed infectious. Foreigners arrive from Russia, Austria, England, all over. Citizens, power shared is true freedom. If I were the only person saying all this, people could say that I was a pathological case. But there are thousands of us now, millions, none of whom gives a damn about authority. Do you see? Do you see? It's a simple thing. Don't beg for your place in the world. Take it! And God of the biggest, we're free, we're free, we're free. of starvation Arise you wretched of the earth For justice thunders condemnation A better world's in birth No more the chains of ruling nations So all you slaves Stand firm and tall The world will rise on new foundations We who were nothing shall be all It's the last hour of combat Let each stand in his place
future against the past. Paris, take arms and defend your city. Enough of military officers, enough of gold embroidered uniforms. Make way for the people. A desperate man fighting for his children is worth ten soldiers fighting for their officers' pay. The Versailles army has occupied part of Paris, but do not be disheartened. We requisition all objects necessary for the construction of barricades. Any citizen who refuses to aid the cause shall be immediately shot. Citizens, we must destroy what we cannot defend, even if it be an entire city. All sentimentality is treason. Once these people are faced with their own ruin and death, they will submit to us unconditionally. To arms! To arms! Let Paris bristle with barricades! Turn over the the people have a right to their hands are double the stones under their feet. They have no fear. The to arms! Cover the Citizens with to arms! Over behind and their improvised ramparts, let our war cry ring out against, against the enemy. Our cry of pride, our cry of defiance, and our cry of victory for thanks to its barricades! Paris is impregnable! search in vain when hope is dead below these streets this ruined land and still this blood runs black and red ah yes you understand a gallant man and one they say who never fled from danger's way and his name is Martin Soldier, have you seen him? He's my man Is there some moral here at least? And for what comfort can I seek? They worked him like some nameless beast. Six days in every week. His heart is planted firm and true. And oh, his shoulders close to And his name is Martin. Soldier, have you seen him? He's my man. For twelve years now this man I've known. He hasn't changed, not to this day. One more on the way So what am I to say to them If he does not come home again And his name is Martin Soldier Have you seen him? He's my man.
the captain said His mouth was cruel, his face was red To the wall! What have you done? Oh, you are brave if you are hungry, then you eat You do not wish to be a slave, nor to be pulled down by defeat All this is right and manly too, but if you kill me, oh my friend You'll be a beast caged in a zoo, do you want to be like them? Do you understand my logic? Well, long live the Republic! A young woman dressed in silk runs into the street, fires into the air with a revolver and says, Shoot me at once! She's about to be bound and taken to Versailles, but save me the trouble of the journey! What have you done? Oh, shoot me dead, a soldier drunk and badly kept, he shot my father in the head, and my crime is that I wept! Soldiers apprehend an old woman and she screams, I had two sons, they were killed at the front. I had two more sons, they were killed at the gates. And my husband died at this barricade. So do what you want with me. What have you done? I was a nurse, I never fought, but made my way and healed for better and for worse. Communard and Versailles. I am called Bear Told, and I am 12 years old. The general orders that you are to be shot on your knees. As you die, you will say, Long live the army of Versailles! You dirty slob, quick order me to be undone already. I have done the job with my little gun. With one shot, you see the moon. And with two, long live the communists! Oh, you are brave if you are hungry, oh, then you eat. Dead. You do oh, not wish to be a slave or to be pulled down by the feet. All this is right, a man that's not ready to kill me. Oh, 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 Unsettled woman weeps and grieves. Widows and orphans barely speak. Misery pours from every door, turning the happy streets to mud. All of the fashion turn to war. And the streets are paved with the blood. And yet, shake off that bitter tune. These dreadful days will have an end. Revenge is coming soon. When all the poor will rise again. Again, oh, when the poor will rise again. They hunt, they capture, and they kill anyone who blocks their way. Mothers and daughters. Fallen ones And yet Shake off that bitter tune 
These dreadful days will have an end. Revenge is coming soon when all the poor will rise again, again when the poor will rise again. I always will love the cherries of spring, the season which leaves a hole in my heart, a wound that is never healed. And all that may be by fortune revealed, it never will soothe the grief in my soul. 1942, during the German occupation of Paris in World War II, Charles Trenet records a popular version of Le Ton des Cerises by communard Jean-Baptiste Clément. 1959, the Soviets launch the first rocket to the moon, which carries the red flag of the Paris Commune. May 1968, in Paris, the massive student and worker uprisings are called Le Ton des Cerises after the song. 1971, East Germany issues a commemorative stamp for the centenary of the Paris Commune. Today, a copy of that stamp sells on eBay for $1.95, Australian dollars. 1989 in Tiananmen Square, students and workers sing the Internationale moments before the shooting. 1996, at the funeral of French President François Mitterrand, an opera singer performs Le Temps de Cerise. Je garde mon 